Hey everybody, Tom Joya from Visionary Music Group here. We are back with part three, Anatomy of a Mix of the song Feel by the Sahara Club. So now we're gonna do part three, which is going to be the bass guitars by the mighty Stanley Clark. Let's dig in. So at the top of the tune, there is a bass part that is a bowed or arco bass. So let's listen to the intro and then we'll uh, check out the bass parts along. All right, cool. So let's hear what the arco basses are doing at the intro. Here they are. So there was right there, there was three left, right, and center. Then there's the main bass part up here that's an upright bass, and it had a mic and a DI, and the mic was the only thing I got on the intro. So let's check that out combined with the other guys. So that kind of gives you the, the attack, and I wanted to bring out the bow sound a little. So on this already was this PSP Vintage Warmer, which wouldn't have been my first pick for an upright ba bass, but it sounds great, so I'm so glad we had it on there. And then it's kind of a similar thing, the Decapitator, uh, he had on the DI of the upright, and this EQ, which is kind of an interesting spot, a big hump down there, and it sounds great together. So I just plopped on Auto Align and kept them working in phase alignment and then I put this on for some articulation that I was hearing didn't touch any of the balances or automation so when the bass both parts come in we have these two and then we have this little like solo bass track so let's hear that and the solo one's kind of wet So you could see where things were, were ridden there. And let's check out over here at the actual solo. Let's go back to the beginning of that part. So here's the bass solo track and the upright together. So it's great because these automation moves were already there for me. So the parts that Michael didn't want in there to affect whatever else was going on were taken out, so it just was the fills he wanted. And the bass solo, which had a little bit of automation, but you know, he, he played it great, so we don't need any. Here's the solo. So all I did on that was level it out a little bit and I rolled off some extra high stuff that might have been buzzy and I added some ambience besides all the sidechain stuff. 
So let's see what was supporting um, the bass solo. If there's, there was some other bass tracks, some keyboard things, some Moog basses, and they're probably down here. So here was a synth bass. Then there was a part he played with some echo printed, which is way cool. So actually, let's hear that. That should go with this solo. Sorry about that. We'll let you hear that together. Okay, so here's the solo with its own ambience. So they had certain parts of the phrase they wanted to repeat, so they printed the echo, which was a great idea. And the upright underneath it. And the synth bass with it. And there was a sub octave there, which is real cool. So there's one more thing to check out on the bass that's kind of nice. At the end, we have this little echo part that goes with the electric sound, which was labeled solo. That ends the tune, but right before that, there's something really great right in here. So you can hear Mike's yelling after the take, and I cranked it up because I thought it was cool. So here's that in context. So there you have it. There are bass parts by the mighty Stanley Clark with some synth bass help from Jeff Lorber on Feel Sahara Club featuring Michael Thompson, Stanley Clark, Jeff Lorber, and many other talented folks. Check them out in the credits. Check it out on Sirius XM Waterfall channel. It's out now. Thanks so much for watching the video. Please subscribe. Hit the like button if you dug it. Hit the notification bell so I can let you know when there's more content like this coming. Next episode is going to feature keyboards. So stay tuned. Thanks again. <laughs>